hit the like button hit the sub button hit the notification bell you understand me subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter follow me on instagram join this fisk unit army and get fisk unit tough all right look nfl top 100 list i got beef i got beef but before i get into that wednesday august 9th eight o'clock giants outsiders returns okay me cop pizzle round effect we back like we left something you understand me all right just had to get that get that promo out there so look andrew thomas got shorted before i rant on daniel jones because i got i got a bone to pick with this list before i rant on daniel jones the fact that andrew thomas is literally the consensus second best left tackle in the league, but he can't make the top 100 list, is mind-boggling to me. I mean, it, that's mind-boggling to me. If you look at Andrew Thomas, this is a guy who was second-team All-Pro, just got a five-year, $117.5 million contract, only had two penalties and 1,049 snaps, and only had three sacks, and allowed three QB hits all year and got an 89.1 PFF grade. You got to be kidding me. I'm going to say it again. This dude allowed three sacks and three hits all year. He's second team all, all pro. And he doesn't make the top 100 list? Hey, y'all think I'm being a bit extra when I say players and media, everybody hates the Giants. Y'all think I just be, y'all just think I be saying shit sometimes. Like, no, the people hate the Giants. This is not just me being a bully. I'm not bullying people. Well, I do be bullying people. Let me stop. I ain't gonna get But th besides me being a bully, I have a reason to bully these people. I got a reason to come at these people. I have a reason to give them the smoke that I give them. Because whether it's Andrew Thomas getting snubbed out of the top 100, Daniel Jones just completely and utterly being shamed for signing a contract extension because Saquon didn't, or it's the fact that Joe Shane gets criticized for trading Tony at the deadline. My bad. Joe Shane gets criticized for not signing Saquon to $15 million a year. Okay, who else did? We're waiting on Josh Jacobs' contract. I'm trying to understand where Joe Mixon contract coming from. Oh, yeah, he took a pay cut. Oh, yeah, Aaron Jones took a pay cut. Tony Pollard signed the deal. He didn't get an extension. But when the Giants do it, they make Saquon Barkley the face of the running back market. They made it seem like the Giants were the only franchise not paying a running back. I mean, for real, they find ways to hate us. They just find ways to do it. Now, what set me off, what ticked me off, and the reason for this video on this Sunday afternoon, or oh, well, y'all get this Sunday night, but yeah, on this Sunday, do y'all understand that Daniel Jones took the worst roster in the NFL? According to the haters, the Giants have like the worst roster in the league. We're hopeless. We ain't shit. So I'm going to run with that narrative. So bear with me, Giants fans, because I'm going to shit on our team a lot in this video. I got to get my point across. So according to the haters, according to the Colin Cowherds and the, 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 the Stephen A's and, and, and all these alphabet letter networks, the Giants are trash, right? Can we all agree on that? Everybody watching this video, can we agree that last year's Giants were trash? We could agree on that, right? So, my quarterback, Daniel Jones, take this trash-ass Giants team to a 9-7-1 record and beats a 13-win team on the road who has... Like five players in the top 100. That would be Harrison Smith is there. I see Justin Jefferson, obviously, and Kirk Cousins. How does Kirk Cousins make the top 100 when Daniel Jones went into his building and beat him?
with the worst roster in the league. Kurt, Daniel Jones didn't have Justin Jefferson. He didn't have a TJ Hawkinson. He didn't have an Adam Thielen. He didn't have that shit. And Dalvin Cook and Saquon are a wash. But yet Daniel Jones went into your building and beat Kirk Cousins. Daniel Jones also caught a body in Jacksonville on Trevor Lawrence, who's ranked number 96. Daniel Jones also caught a body on Justin Fields, who's ranked number 86. I don't know how the hell Justin Fields can win three, four games a year, not know how to throw a forward pass and make the top 100. That, that alone should let you know this list is full of bullshit. Geno Smith, who's had one good season his entire life. Makes the all in or makes the NFL top 100. Did he win a playoff game? Oh, yeah, no, he didn't. Lamar, my nigga, <laughs> yo, I love you, but you you sat out and pouted while your team went and lost to the Bengals in a playoff game. All right, you were so mad about your contract that you sat out and you pouted instead of coming back. Yeah, I ain't forget about that. That was some sucker shit. Um, Jared Goff, really? Did he make the playoffs? No. Dak Bortles, I respect that. 56 for Dak, that's cool. 51 for Aaron Rodgers after he missed the playoffs and lost to Jared Goff the last week of the season with a chance to go to the, to the playoffs. He makes top 100 over Daniel Jones? My black ass. Really? What we? What, what are we doing, man? What, do we, what does Daniel Jones have to do to get an a, a ounce of respect? And I know, you look, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm Daniel Jones' advocate. I told y'all a million times, okay? The Rock and Roll Express had Jim Cornette, Paul Heyman represented Brock Lesnar, and the Tribal Chief, and Big Fisk represents Daniel Jones, Okay? I am Paul Heyman in the middle of the ring with a microphone, and Daniel Jones is Brock Lesnar shuffling behind me. I love the Brock Lesnar shuffle, by the way. I actually perfected the Brock Lesnar shuffle. I could do the Brock Lesnar shuffle. Okay, your boy could do that. I, I be feeling special. I'm getting sidetracked. The point is. This goes beyond me bigging up Daniel Jones. Anybody with common sense who watches football and is not a hater of the New York football Giants can tell you that if you are going to put Kirk Cousins and Trevor Lawrence and Jared Goff and Geno Smith at the top 100, it is a sin. It is a burning hell sin to leave Daniel Jones out of that top 100. I can't even, I don't even know why Andrew Thomas ain't in the top 100. He might be pound for pound the best player on the team. If you really want to look at this objectively, there's only one player on the Giants who you can say is undisputedly, at worst, the second best player at his position, and that's Andrew Thomas. This is You can't name a tackle outside of Trent Williams in San Francisco better than Andrew Thomas. He's hands down, pound for pound, probably the best overall player regardless of position on the Giants. And he don't make the top 100? Huh? And then with the Daniel Jones disrespect, it's like, I don't get it. What did Trevor Lawrence do last year that Daniel Jones didn't? What did he do? What did he do? At least Daniel Jones wasn't down 30 points in a, in a, in a home playoff game. I mean, like, come on, man. How many playoff games has Justin Herbert won? What are we talking about, son? Like, at some point, can we just, like, can somebody tell me why they hate Daniel Jones? Other than Daniel Jones being a white boy from Duke, why do they hate him? I don't get it. Is he, what is he, J.J. Reddick? What is he, Grayson Allen? Is it the Duke white boy hatred that just follows successful Duke white boys wherever they go? I don't what. I'm, I'm pulling straws right now. I'm running out of reasons to why they hate Daniel Jones. I don't get it. Other than him being white from Duke, I can't come up with another valid explanation to why Daniel Jones is relegated to trash in every conversation. I look at the numbers, I look at the results, and I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all slurping Trevor Lawrence for doing the same thing that Daniel Jones just did last season. You're slurping Gino you're Smith for doing the same thing that Daniel Jones did last season. But Daniel Jones actually won his playoff game. You're slurping the Lions and Jared Goff. They didn't make the playoffs. Daniel Jones won his playoff game. 
You see, what, what, what are we doing? Make it make sense. I, I, I can't for the life of me understand where the hate come from. I don't get it, Giants fans. I don't get it. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.